My name is James Bendari Alexander. I'm from New Haven, Connecticut. I work at New Haven Legal Assistance, where I represent low-wage workers. Um, I would like to um, echo some of the comments that you just heard from the previous speaker. Um, we're very concerned um, that rather than issuing a new NPRM, that um, the DOL should instead vigorously defend the recently issued and carefully prepared 2016 regulation. Um, the previous salary threshold was failing working families. Um, I work for an organization that uh, provides free legal services to poor people, and I have had clients who qualify for our services who were technically classified as white collar professionals. Um, this uh, would strike probably anybody in the room as problematic. Um, we think DOL should implement a regulation with a robust enough salary threshold to correct for the 2004 regulation, um, which led to a dramatic decline in overtime coverage for salaried workers. Um, if the department promulgates a regulation with a lower threshold, it should revise the duties test and make it more vigorous to correct for the flaws in the 2004 regulation. Um, I've heard people say, question whether the department has legal authority to index the salary threshold. Uh, we believe it does. It's been, it's uh, had that authority since the 1970s. Um, indexing is better for workers because the overtime coverage remains constant. Um, it can be better for employers because rather than absorbing large increases all at once, um, there's periodic, implemental, uh, periodic implementation of incremental increases. Um, we don't believe that the department should implement different salary threshold levels for different regions in the country. Um, we think that there's one national economy and uh, working families need one standard. Um, and um, finally, I just want to address uh, a few of the things I've, I've, that aren't in my remarks but I've heard expressed. One is on the question of morale, whether employees who uh, are currently exempt will feel some loss of morale from earning an overtime benefit. Um, I would strongly suggest this is not the case for any of my clients or any client I have ever worked with or could imagine working with that they would resent being paid more for more hours of work. Um, although I do understand the dignity, dignitary aspects of, of worker classification um, as somebody whose spouse uh, is exempt and earns overtime under these uh, under this, uh, the rule as it is, I can tell you we would appreciate more money. Um, as far as litigation, uh, I do believe that uh, a higher threshold would reduce litigation. I bring wage and hour actions uh, for plaintiffs and um, a higher, higher salary standard certainly reduces the number of people who are eligible to bring those cases, assuming that's the issue. Um, and so overall, I just want to uh, thank you for listening and um, keep in mind low-wage workers who are out here uh, living in poverty, working full-time, sometimes 50, 60, 70 hours a week, um, and think of them as you consider these changes. Thank you.